Hey, 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 everyone. Happy New Year. I hope everybody had a great Happy New Year. Um, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jazz. Um, I do adult coloring videos. I do coloring chats, color alongs, live streams, and things like that. You know, the usual. Um, today, we are going to kick it off with our first color along of the year we are working in joanna bassford's rooms of wonder and just a heads up i am still sick so you might hear me cough here and there and um, i might need to stop for a drink here and there like right now um I'm still, you know, trying to catch my breath and things like that. Um, Really quick, I, as soon as I find my notebook, would like to give a shout out to my Patreon member, Carolyn Palmer. Thank you so much for not only being the first Patreon of the year, but also the first Patreon in general. So thank you so much for your support. It means the world. Um, I will leave a link to my Patreon down below if anybody is interested. Um, there are different tiers. Um, you know, some of the tiers have giveaways, extra color along videos, extra um, color challenge videos and things like that. I will be adding more to the tiers, but that's just, you know, the gist of what's there now. Okay, so we are going to work on the bathroom page. And I know a lot of you will be excited for what I am about to say to you guys. But we will be using Prismacolors today. I know. And go ahead and, and say it. I I was gifted the Prismacolors um for Christmas. So my my boyfriend said, you know, you do YouTube, you need them. I'm gonna get them. So he got them. Wonderful Christmas present. So I know you guys like most of you use the Prismacolors. So we're gonna put the polys um down for this one, but I still will provide the um, alternate, you know, colors and stuff. So, going forward, um, I'm going to be showing you the colors I'm using here on my swatch um, chart. I made this swatch chart um, kind of with you guys in mind. I made it nice and big so you can see the numbers, the names, and the color swatch. And um, I did it for all of my pencil sets, um, I have a few of them up in my Etsy shop. If you want to have the same one as me, um, I will leave that link down below. And you can purchase um, whichever version you like. I will be adding other versions. Right now, I think I have Prismacolor, Holbein, and I have a blank one up there. So, let's get started. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me that's that ridiculous cough that i was telling you guys about i'm over it okay so we're gonna start with the flowers and i picked a nice purple combo when i was looking at this page i was like you know i want i know for the fact that i want the flowers to be purple so, we are going to be using, <clears throat> I guess I can zoom you guys in a little. Our lightest color is going to be 1026 grade lavender. So, it's going to be this nice um, purple here. And then, I move, I move, <laughs> I'm going to... The next color is going to be, um, I should have wrote the names down, but I didn't. I just wrote the numbers down thinking I was fancy and knew them, but I don't know them like that. Um, I have to remember that these aren't my polys. 
The next color is going to be 956 Lilac, and that's this one here. And then we are going to move into this purple here, which is Parma Violet, um, 1008, that's this one here. And then for our shadow color, we are going to go into um, <clears throat> 931 Dark Purple this one here okay so if you are using um polychromos i have some similar colors not quite a hundred percent one match but similarly so you're gonna bring in your white because there wasn't a light enough purple for the gray lavender so you're actually gonna base them in white first then you're going to move into violet, which is your going to be your um, mixed with that white for the highlight color. So that should um, make it bright enough, hopefully. Then your next color is going to be 136 purple violet. And your darkest color is going to be 249 this mauve here. So that's if you're using um, polychromos. Now, if you want to keep track of the combos, I also, yes, this is a self plug here, <clears throat> shameless. <laughs> um, I also have a color combo swatch sheet in my Etsy shop. There is room to write down five colors and there's a little rectangle there for you to keep track i have a video showcasing um some of my combos whoop, really quick whoop, later but um stay tuned for that because i'm not quite finished okay so per usual per me i have not sharpened um like i said i'm still sick so some of these um some of these videos i've been sick since almost the beginning of december i do feel a lot better my voice is back it's just this cough that i have that's just um silently taking over i guess it's from the lung infection that i have so um i guess that might play some kind of part in it but i have my inhaler i have my medicine and you know, they said I just got to wait it out. So I got to wait it out. Whew, it's a long wait. <laughs> okay, so I got my four colors sharpened here. I have not tested the Prisma colors in this book, but we are going to do it together. Okay. Let's zoom you guys in. And we were going to, we're going to work on this um, here. So... You guys know how I do, um, even with the Prisma colors, I know some people go dark to light, but I still go light to dark, so I'm going to base very lightly um, all the flowers, petals in this grade lavender. So this is what we're starting off with, if you can see that. So how is everyone? What did you guys um, do for New Year's? Did you have anything special planned? I did absolutely nothing because I was sick. So um, I was at home. And I, I've been wanting to do a live stream with you guys. Um, but like I said, I'm still kind of sick. So, But I did want to get the important videos out for the month um and i'm just gonna pace myself with recording videos over the next couple of days because um you know the sickness is real i'm just patiently waiting to get better all right so now i hope okay yeah you guys can see it still now we're gonna go in with the lilac and I'm actually going to start from the center and work my way out. So the center is actually going to be the dark um, color. 
So we'll do we'll do a couple of these here. So just um you know just lightly. The prism colors seem to go down nice in this book actually. I'm just um, once I start getting more colors on this page, I'm gonna have to bring in a a blank paper or something because my fear is the colors smearing across the page and why I chose purple. I mean, I know why I chose purple, but that's what happened. That's the color I was on the last time. Um, it smeared really bad. I was doing something with purple. And that smear was terrible. So, um, I'm going to need a blank paper or something of the sort. And if you can hear crunching in the background, that is my dog who has also been sick. Um, she is finally up in... Being her normal video interrupting self, um, she has been sick for like two days, but she's a lot better. Today was the first day she actually started, um, you know, running around and kind of getting back to her normal self. She's eating more, so that's really good. It was, it was kind of not really concerning. I mean, she only had like kind of the runs but um it was keeping me up at night and I have I was already not getting a, a lot of sleep and it was just kind of watching her making sure she was okay and yes just all kinds of stuff to start the year off with next color parma violet same thing we're gonna come in from the center and we're gonna bring it out just a bit and depending on how dark you want your flowers, um, you'll be bringing this color out further if you want them a little darker. I'm not really sure. I might mix it up. Some will be dark, some will be light. Just going to... So um, I kind of, I made the swatch sheet so once you when you print it out you can there's different ways you can like you know keep it organized you can keep it organized by color along so if you are following along with any of my color alongs and let's say you aren't quite where I am but you want to write down the colors for later because you've already watched the video then you can organize your swatch sheets by color along. And that way you can, you know, go back to it and reference it when you are ready to finish the page we are working on. Um, for example, the, um, the one that we were doing for Christmas that we didn't quite finish because I got sick. So... You can like write down the colors and have them there. Okay. In our in our dark dark color, dark purple. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of this one. This is just to kind of bring out this is like a different kind of purple than the other three we used. So this is just to kind of bring out a little bit of the middle to make it a little bright and we're so you're gonna do this for all of the flowers now the flowers up here are a little different um, so you can choose to do it the same or you can choose to do it a different color uh, if you are doing it a different color I would suggest maybe a nice blue I think that would go well with the colors I have in mind, just in case you want to go on ahead and, you know, do it a different color, but you don't want to wait to see what, um, what, what the rest of the page looks like. 
and you want to kind of complete it all at the same time, I would suggest a nice blue, even a nice light pink. Okay, so let me put a little bit here. All right, so now I'm just going to work my way backwards and just kind of bring out the colors. So I don't need to use the Parma Violet. I think there's enough of that. So I'm going to skip that and I'm going to go right to the Lilac and I'm going to bring it up. And they're all going to blend nicely. So you don't have to worry about um, too many layers because the personal colors are a lot waxier. Now, if you're using your polys, you might have to layer these a couple of times. But the Prismal colors are a nice waxy pencil. So, and they're really soft and they blend a little bit easier than, a lot of bit easier than the Polychromos. So what you want to do is probably layer those a couple of times. But for these, you don't need that many layers. Like once I put this down, I'm gonna come in with that light layer and blend it. And then if you want, you can blend it with a light layer or you can blend it with white. It is totally up to you. But I think I'm gonna blend it with a light layer. And I usually always leave that option um, open for you guys. You can either blend it with the lightest color we're using or white. So I'm gonna come in with the lightest color we're using and I'm not gonna go all the way up but just enough to blend it. And I'm going over the whole thing from the bottom all the way to almost to the top of each petal. And I'm, the way I'm doing that just so I can blend in all of the colors. And I don't need to bring in a blender pencil because this light color is doing it for me. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and just Add some color here and even if after you do this if you like you can bring in white a white pencil and blend it out also just so the tip of the flower is not too just white it'll drag some of that purple you can do it that way or you can leave it the way it is Okay. All right, and I also need to keep nearby my little um, fluffer brush, as I like to call it, because Prismacolor also leaves a lot of little crumbs behind. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so you will do that for each of these. Now, for the leaves, I have a different combo. All right, let's bring it in. Now, if you're using Prismacolors, you are going to want <clears throat> none of those. What are those? Where are my greens? Okay. You are going to use Pale Sage which is number 1089. And then you are going to use Celadon Green, which is number 1020. And then Sap Green Light, which is 120. And 1096 Kelly Green. So that's if you're using Prismacolor. And if you're using Polys, you're, you're going to use one less color. Um, <clears throat> you are going to use Earth Green, number 172. Then you're going to use number 167. All the way at the bottom here, Permanent Green Olive. And then you are going to use number 165. <clears throat> 
which is juniper green. Okay, so that's if you're using um, polychromos. Okay, <coughs> so let me go ahead and give you the sharpen. I've been wanting to do this page for a long time because um, I wanted to try something with the background, but I didn't want to um, try it without kind of mapping it out first. And once Christmas came and went and I had got sick, I was like, okay, I'm going to have to, okay. This is kind of also why the Prisma colors annoy me. Y'all see that? Just, just broke. Okay. Hang on, let me just resharpen. Can you just be breaking on me? I pray that was a one-time thing. Okay. <clears throat> Okie dokie. We are going to do this guy here. And let me just grab something to put there really quickly. Just something to put over this purple so I'm not dragging it across the page. Right, so we are going to start with our pale sage. And like normal, just give it a light, um, a light base, sorry. It doesn't have to be neat. Just give it a light, a light base. You're going to do this for all of these leaves that have this weird little lily pad shape. So you're just going to base them all. And when I say base them, I just mean take your lightest color and put down a light layer over the whole thing. Because this is your highlight color. So we're going to, I'm going to, I mean, if you go light to dark, I mean, if you go dark to light and you're not quite following along with the way I do it, just make sure that you leave enough room for your highlight. I just find it easier to go light to dark. Okay. Our next color is going to be 1020. This is Celadon Green. We're doing this leaf here. So, now, if you are anything like me, you do not have to do these things one by one like this. Go here and then move on to the next one. They're relatively the same shape, so you can do two at a time. Um, you can do one at a time. You can do the whole thing, like how we just did the base layer. Just leave some room for your highlight. And I am... Um, how do you say it? I'm going to bring this out a little bit right here behind this leaf. I am, um, the center is going to be dark. You can flip it and go dark to light and have the, the inside of the leaf, um, be your, be your highlight. Inside area meaning this, or because I'm, this is going to be my darker area, but you can switch it around. Just make sure that you leave some highlight somewhere for, I mean, leave some area left for your highlight. Don't cover the whole leaf in this. Okay. And again, this is just, um, I'm still using light pressure. I don't typically use heavy pressure on any of my um, pictures. 
if any the most i'll do is like medium ish okay next color is sap green light same thing you're gonna bring it out Make sure my arm is not in the way I think this page is gonna turn out so cute when we are done I have most of the colors mapped out, but I'm still gonna break this video up into parts. Um, it seems to work better that way. I don't know if it'll be like a good, you know, a whole bunch of parts, but definitely gonna break it, break it up into parts. That's usually how I do my color alongs. Um, just for, you know, I'm a slower colorist, so and I don't do like time lapse and things like that. I actually talk to you guys throughout the, the process. So my videos tend to be a little bit longer. Okay, Kelly Green. And just gonna put some of this here in the middle. And then we're gonna work our way backwards now if you want to add a darker green if this is not dark enough for you you can add a darker green um, but I was kind of going for a kind of what's the word I'm looking for I didn't want it to be too dark like I wanted it to be like as if they were kind of illuminating if that not not really illuminating, but I wanted them kind of bright, so that's what we're going with here. And then I'm gonna work my way backwards. So now I am picking up the sap green light, coming out a little bit, and of course, you guys, if you do follow um, or you know are subscribed to my channel or watch my videos you know that I do assign homework um, so that is why we did not if you are new to the channel and you're wondering why I did not do all of the flowers that is because that is your homework you will be doing the rest of the flowers and the rest of the leaves on your own Oops. Next color is going to be Celadon. And I'm just bringing this out just and it should blend in fairly well with the other colors. And again, if you want to keep track of the combos, I mean, you don't have to use my swatch sheet. You can have like your own little notebook and you can, um, you know, kind of record the combos that I am sharing with you. I am also going to be, um, this is our, our lightest color I'm coming in with. I'm also going to be making um, special combo videos um, I will probably do like one combo video a month and then if you know if you're a patreon you'll probably get a second combo video for the month and I'll be sharing like you know a few combos and talking about what what you can use them for and things like that I'm just coming in with this. And 
And then if you already have your own combo book and you don't have the combos I'm sharing, you can just add them right to your book. The book of combos. And I actually don't really have, um, well, I mean, I have one now, but before I didn't, I was kind of keeping track, but I wasn't keeping track to like all of the combos. But I think now, especially the ones either I use a lot or the ones that I like a lot, I'm definitely going to make note to keep track of them. Right, so there is our leaf. And if you want to keep going with more layers, you can do that. <coughs> but those are the colors and those are the leaves. So, I do have the colors down for, <coughs> excuse me, the pot and the background. But we will do those next week. So, <clears throat> with that being said, for the combos for today, <clears throat> here are the Prismacolor combos. And I will zoom in for you so you can see them. So that's the combo for the flowers and that's the combo for the leaves. I'll leave it there for a minute in case you guys want to, you know, screenshot it or write it down so you can put it in your swatch books or your bubble studio swatch chart. And if you are using, um, a little part, if you're using polys, grab those polychromos um, 101 is going to be white so those are the ones for polychromos now if you are using light fast holbein's um pablo's arteza brute fooners and you want that um those combos you want me to provide the combos for that? Let me know down in the comments. I do have those sets. Um, and I can help you choose colors if you are having trouble. Right. So, homework. Your homework is going to be to finish the rest of these leaves and these flowers. And again, if you are choosing to do these flowers differently then a nice blue or a nice pink would go pretty well in my opinion um or you can just do it the same and you can make them purple flowers and then you can make the middle like blue maybe totally up to you or you can just do them the same i'm just gonna wind up doing them the same and i think i'll add some like clear glitter gel pin in the center so I will see you guys next week when we will be working on, I'll bring it down, the, the pot and the background. Okay, and as usual, I want to thank you guys for watching and following along. I want to thank everyone who likes, subscribes, and comments to my videos. I want to thank anyone who watches my videos and Hopefully this will be a really good year. I have some ideas planned. So I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you for watching and thank you for your support. See you in the next video.